Tim, one of the great things about these aerospace days is you pick on so many topics um, about making parts within this sector. This one's really interesting to me. Can you explain what you're doing here on this machine with your partners? Yeah, we, we had the challenge from a customer of making a roughing process as efficiently as possible. We have a, a machine tool in mind, this X55, and we also know the, the constraints of that machine. And we wanted to make a safe process based on a numerical force analysis that really optimized that metal removal process but within a reliable process method. Because it's a bit like, I mean, if you've got a car and you drive it at 150 mile an hour every day of the week and that's its top speed, eventually you're going to come, you're going to come into problems. What we're trying to eliminate here is, is, is similar with the machine whilst still maximising the production time of the parts. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's the best preventative maintenance running a machine within its limits but of course getting the maximum out of it as well without yeah so three factors in my mind to this yeah. one is the machine and within the limits we discussed yes secondly is the is, is the tooling which you have here yeah we, we we develop our own tools the idea of the tools is uh, to reduce the force levels with the serration type design for example then we can also increase uh, stability axial depth of cut increase speed rates higher metal removal rates and is that to do with this taper as well the way this is tapering mm. No, I mean, most aero parts, we have to reach into deep pockets. The taper keeps as much strength as we can, as long as we can. Okay, now then, there is software that, is, that, that really does all this analysis. Explain what that is and how it works. Yeah, we're working together with uh, CG Tech and Vericult Force. Uh, we've used their numerical answers from software and run the process actually on the machine and verified a lot of those numbers uh, very, very close to reality. And, and with that we can design a very good process away from the machine on the desk before we get to the machine. So you can look at it, simulate it, you can see how much stress is and strain is happening within here and then potentially back off a little bit to give you the best result. Yes, the, that, that's kind of the idea and then we've got a safe production process to run in the end, yes.